Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos where I'm here today to talk about all of the palettes that I tried last year, 2021. I'm going to talk about them, I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to tell you my opinion and if it's worth to invest or not, if, you want, if you're going to purchase it, if I think you should purchase it or not. But there are plenty of foundations here. Some of them you've probably seen on my channel, some of them you probably have not yet, but definitely will. And it's this is not my favorite palettes of 2021. I will do another video for that. But I'm just going to show you all of the palettes that I purchased during last year and a little bit too much in about I think about it. So if you want to see that, keep on watching. So guys, I'm really sorry for my voice. Uh, it's still not well. Um, COVID has really taken a lot of energy of my body, but let's go in. Uh, first of all, I want to show you all of the 12 palettes that I purchased from BH Cosmetics last year. Here are they, all of these palettes. These are those monthly palettes from BH Cosmetics that released last year. Now, I didn't film with them all last year. It's because I did purchase it every first of month and it took them over a month to arrive to Sweden and I had to pay taxes for them. So this took me a little bit too long to actually get. Now I did play with a couple of these eyeshadow palettes and they perform beautifully. This is the September, my month, and I love purple. So I've been very happy that this is a purple and blue month. Uh, but I'm, I like this pigment. I like these palettes. They are affordable. They are pigmented, and I didn't play like I said with all of them. But I did play up with a couple of these palettes, and I think they are very interesting, very cute, and very pigmented. I do like BH Cosmetics formula. I think it's a very easy formula to work with. It's very pigmented, and also a really good formula. So if you haven't tried anything from Beach Cosmetics, I will definitely recommend you to try these. Now, they are, these are very colorful. So if you don't like colorful makeup looks, I don't know if you will like them. But I did collect all of these and I was a little bit sad that they didn't came in time for me to play with them during those months. But I will definitely do the January this month and create a beautiful makeup look for my channel. So I will use them this year, even if I bought them last year. But they're nice and I like them and I don't really regret buying them. They are very cute, though they were a little bit more expensive for me because I had to pay shipping and taxes. But you know what? I, I think that's nice. Usually I do prefer to buy from Be uh, Beauty Bay the BH Cosmetics, but these are uh, these were just available on the BH Cosmetics website, so that's the reason. Cash Beauty is one of my favorite brands, so I did purchase the whole collection. This is the whole uh, Modern Leg Legacy collection, and I have filmed a video where I try all of these products, where I create a makeup looks with these palettes. Now, I still haven't edited, so it, this is definitely coming on my channel, but I really like these palettes. Now, these are more neutral palettes, so I love Cash Beauty formula. That, this is definitely my favorite formula. I have all of the eyeshadows, and I did play with these. Beautiful, beautiful pigmented, very sparkly, really nice formula, and uh, I think it's just a beautiful formula. Uh, these are very natural, all of these palettes this collection comes in comes in have three different palettes they are all uh, very neutral this is more pinkish and let me just show you the other one. so if you haven't tried anything from cash beauty i will definitely recommend you to do so because i ex actually bought everything last year from cash beauty and i really enjoy their formula really enjoy and I fell in love with the packaging I fell in love with the shipping shipping is so fast to Sweden just just enjoy and love them when we are at Cash Beauty I will definitely show you my favorite products from Cash Beauty are these two babies uh, Crystal Knight and Secret Treasure Palette now these were this one was actually the first uh, palette that Cash Beauty launched but I did got it last year and 
it's my most used palette. This is neutral palette. This is an everyday palette. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful palette. And I used it a lot and definitely going to use it a lot. I didn't use it a lot on my channel, though I did use it, you know, when I'm not filming, when I'm going to work. This is the other one that I really, really like. Also very nice with some pop of colors. Beautiful formula. Now I have also the other one. This is the secret, and um, it's not secret, color tree palette. And this one is very colorful. These are beautiful. These are water active, activated liners. They are so, so nice. They perform beautifully. I love these shades and I do use them. I don't use them as often as those others, um, but I like them. I like them. These, these are very pigmented, very bright, very pigmented if you search for something else. But this Cash Beauty is one of my favorite brands and I have their lipsticks, glitter toppers, uh, lip liners. I have everything and I really, really enjoy that palette, those <laughs> products. Uh, the palette that I have on my eyes today is actually Your Golden from Colourpop. I bought this for myself last year. I actually bought one for my sister too. It's really a beautiful palette and has everything that you want. Uh, for natural look, but also a pop of color. I do like it. I think they are very nice. Um, I was a little bit disappointed that, that some of these brown shades are not as pigmented as I would like them because I was really applying a lot of eyeshadow on my crease to deep it up a little bit, but it took me a little bit of effort. But I really like uh, Colourpop collection <clears throat> of palettes, but this one is beautiful if you want more neutral colors. Uh, it's not something that I really need in my collection. I will prefer Cash Beauty's palettes if I will create more something more natural, but I really like this. If you like neutrals and you like Colourpop, I think you will love that palette. Okay, now my palette that I used a lot these last two months is Rose Quarto from Huda Beauty. I love this palette. I love Huda Beauty formula. I love this palette. This is everything. I love colorful makeup looks. I like natural makeup looks, but I love, love colorful makeup looks. And this is definitely something for me. I don't get this cream shade in here though, but everything performs beautifully. They're pigmented. They're easy to work with. Just a love Huda Beauty's palettes. Uh, something else that I've used a lot last year is Natasha Denona's Zendo palette. I like Z Natasha Denona's uh, and this formula, this shade up here, this creamy, mindful, this is my favorite shade in here. This is more like a creamy, cream kind of eyeshadow. It's not cream eyeshadow, but cream to powder eyeshadow. I, I don't know if you experienced that with Natasha Denona, but this is definitely my favorite brown shade ever. I love this palette and I've used it a lot, a lot. The only thing I'm kind of sad that it's not a, something like more champagne color in here, then I will use it every single day, but I love this palette. <clears throat> Another palette that I've tried last year, it's 9M Melon Pop from Morphe. Morphe is a nice brand. I really like Morphe eyeshadows. Now, uh, this I've used two times and it's because I have, not have, I mean, I've just used it two, two times because I have plenty of palettes. But it's a nice formula, it's a cute formula, and I like this palette. I mean, I'm glad that I got it because I love the packaging and watermelon is my, or melon is my favorite fruit to eat, so I really like it. I want to apologize, guys, if you can hear, hear my kids. They're playing games with their friends, and this house, you can hear everything that everyone says, so I'm sorry for that. But let's move on. Okay, palette that I've used a lot, well, palette that I've used a lot last year that I really enjoyed, that I got actually from my, my sister for birthday. This is the Wilderness from Beauty Bay. I love Beauty Bay eyeshadows. They have some amazing formula. Really, really like it. It kind of um, reminds me a little bit of BH Cosmetics. Now, maybe I'm out and just saying something wrong, but it, that, that's how it kind of reminds me. It's very pigmented. I love, love these colors. And I've used this palette a lot, this green is especially my favorite color in here. And I really like these two. Or I think this three and this green is one of, of those most used colors in this palette. But I really love it. Everything that has to do with this palette. I love the packaging, I love the mirror, I love the formula, eyeshadows, they're really, really nice. I definitely recommend if you like colorful green colors. 
Okay, then I have, I think, three of these. I can't find the third one here. It was hard for me to find all of these, but I got these elf shades eyeshadow palettes for my friend Valerie. And I've used these, I think, three, four times, and this one I've used two times. And I like elf formula. I think they are very nice and easy. For me, it's a little bit hard to use these on an everyday basis. It's just because I lose them. For some reason, I just lose them in drawers and I can't find them. Like, I, I had the third one here, but it ran away. But I like these. I like Elf Formula. And I think this is one of the best Elf Formulas that I've tried. And I enjoy them. So if you haven't tried them, I'm definitely going to. This green is my favorite, though. I love green colors. I think they look very nice on my eyes. Palettes that I filmed with last year. And it's these palettes from Erden's Eye. I have all the whole collection that I actually got. Let me just show you. Let's try with this big palette. I have the video up. This is Cruelty Free Brand Erden's Eye. And it's a really nice formula, really colorful. This red one looks so nice on my eyes when I play with it. It's a nice palette. It's a nice uh, formula. These shimmer shades are very shimmery. They are a little bit more like that chunkier shimmer that you need to use your fingers with to apply but they go on very nice and you get ah, pigmentation in heaven in heaven really love this brand and i really love their formula look at that just that, that but they look much better i feel like they work much better if you apply them with your fingers than going with something else so, i'm sorry guys my voice is kind of disappearing because oh i don't know still sick I have all the three small palettes too. This is the Verdandi, Verdandi. I like this one. It's also the one that I've used the most. Really beautiful eyeshadows. Definitely recommend if you haven't tried anything else. And if you want that shimmer, not shimmer, but yeah, shimmer in your face, you know, the one that you can see from heaven, this is something for you because they are very pigmented, but very easy to work with. And I really enjoy the Erdens Eye formula. I really, really enjoy the formula. I have also School. I, this one is really beautiful. Now, this one doesn't have any mattes, but these shimmeries are beautiful. This orange is also one of my favorite colors that I've used. And I have videos up on my channel with those palettes. Now, a palette that I got from my sister that I actually didn't film with, it's Charlotte Tilbury's. Now, I've used this a couple of times and I like them, but I feel like Charlotte Tivoli has a beautiful, beautiful palettes and beautiful quality of eyeshadows. These eyeshadows are definitely, if you want that nice bridal makeup look, soft. They're easy to work with, they're very easy to blend, but the only thing I have problems is putting my brush in here because these are a little bit too small for my taste. Um, and also they are not as pigmented as I would like them to be. Uh, this brown is the darkest, or not almost darkest shade, this red one is. They are very nice and pigmented though, you need to build them up. That's just how I see it. And this shimmery also, they are very, more like a satin finish, but they work better if you wet them. And I do use them, I just feel like this is something for someone that's scared of color or, or afraid to do too much on the eyes and want to play with Charlotte Tilbury. Nice, nice, nice palette. Okay, one palette that I love a lot is the Kaleidos, Kaleidos, the Escape Pod. Now this actually launched, I think two years ago, but I got it last year. And it's one of my favorite palettes. I love this brand and I love their formula. I love these eyeshadows. Oh my God, these purples are to die for. Really beautiful and so easy to work with. Look at that, Shiva. Can you see that? I mean, they look so stunning on the eyes. Just love this formula and I used it a lot, I use it a lot. I really love a colorful makeup looks. Some, and I don't care, I go to work with colorful makeup looks and I don't care how people how people think when I see me with blue and pink and purple eye or green. I don't care, that's me, that's my, um, my that makes me happy. 
and I really enjoy this palette a lot. I love it. I love it. Another colorful palette that I haven't used a lot, it's actually the Michaela Anglan Light. I love the formula. I mean, that's a nice formula. I try, I did use it a couple of times and I really enjoy it and definitely glad that I have it. So I need to play more with this palette. It's just that it didn't actually had, I think I used it like five, six times and this needs to be more law than five, six times because the formula is amazing, the palette is amazing, the colors are amazing, there are some neutrals. I, I can see this being like five palettes, three palettes. The first one is more like nude and then we have more colorful and then we have this one with more, oh, sorry, what, what happened? Uh, and this one that has more matte, beautiful colors. I mean, I really enjoy this palette and I definitely have it here <clears throat> so I can play more with it because it needs more love. That palette definitely needs more love. Another palette that I really liked, I am, this is the Torlet. I got this from my husband last year. I think it was, was it Valentine's Day or was it our wedding anniversary? I'm not really sure, but I got it from my husband. And this is definitely a neutral palette. It's a beautiful, it smells nice. Uh, this is a beautiful palette, but definitely someone that wants that neutral color or maybe a pop of pink. Uh, for me, they blend like into each other and create almost the same makeup look when I played with it. So uh, it's more forgiving for for beginners, but also very good for bridal makeup looks, for spring bridal makeup looks. This is a beautiful palette for that. And I love uh, Tarte's formula. And this is a nice palette. I really, I'm very happy that I have it in my collection, so I will definitely uh, use it more. Uh, but for some reason, I always grab for those colorful makeup looks because that's more me. But I always want something neutral and I was really happy to get that palette. A palette that I got to try last year is a Betty B Brie palette. Now, this is a very, very affordable brand. It kind of reminds me of Colourpop. But this is a nice formula, very easy to blend, very easy to use, and I really enjoy I will put the link down below to this, and I also have a coupon code if you want to use it. Uh, but to get some percent, I think it's 15% off. I really enjoy this brand. Love, love, love the eyeshadow formula. And my sister also got one palette. She really enjoys it. So there is something for everybody in here. Very nice and affordable. Definitely, definitely recommend. Need more love, need more attention. Then I have a, this nude peony that I got from uh, Catrice. Now, when I looked at this palette, and I have a review of this uh, on my channel, when I looked at this palette, this one reminded me of Huda Beauty. You immediately can see Huda Beauty in here. And I think it feels like a dupe for Huda Beauty. And I asked in the video if somebody wanted me to do a video where I compared those two, and nobody actually said anything, so I never did. But I was surprised how much I enjoyed this palette. Now, I did, didn't use it more than, like, I think, three or four times, but, but I was very surprised. I went in with low expectations, with a disappointment, because it really reminded me a little bit too much of Huda Beauty, and I love Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes. <clears throat> so I was disappointed, but I created a beautiful makeup look. I created a beautiful makeup look and I was really surprised how beautiful it looked and how uh, it's easy to use. But I I mean, if you don't have Huda Beauty and if you don't have these colors, then I would definitely recommend you to buy. But if you do have those colors from Huda Beauty and you don't need this kind of nudish, pinkish, purplish color, then I will suggest not to buy this one. It will just stand like it here and you won't use it but it's a nice palette and if you want to create or recreate with the beauties eyeshadow looks then definitely get this palette it's cheaper a palette that i used only two times but i really liked every makeup look or both makeup look that i created it's cherry crush color pop color color pop now i really enjoy this palette i don't use the Je jeffrey color pal the red palette and I wanted something red. I don't know why I don't use that. Nobody's talking about those palettes anymore. Maybe that's why. But I wanted something pink and red and I got this. I love cherries and I just fell in love with the collection. Now, I wouldn't recommend you to use it if you don't need red colors. It's nothing 
new that brings that you can't find in other palettes but if you like ColourPop and you want something some red colors but you don't want to buy expensive cup expensive palettes that would definitely recommend this but i don't know how much use i will get from this but i just feel like it's a cute palette now palette that i got from my sister last year also for birthday that i don't actually know when it launched this is the koki artist palette goddess now or goddess now i've used this palette more times than i can count and i traveled the, for christmas this year to my mother-in-law and I had this palette on with me and I've used it every single day, every single day for a week. And I've used it at home and I've used it a lot. Now this is definitely a good formula and a definitely good palette if you want those natural makeup looks, but also smoky natural makeup looks. These colors don't blend into each other. They blend nice together, but you can see different colors you can see those layers and they are very easy to use Th these shimmery shades are so beautiful stunning on the eyes just create that smooth uh, makeup look i can't explain but it's a beautiful palette that i've used it so many many times um i thought that i wouldn't use this palette so much but it's one of the most used palette actually for last year Okay, now a new palette for me that I actually just used two times at home, but it's an older palette, but I got it last year. It's the the new gold, Golden Twenties, I think it's called, from Linda Halbert. Now I have almost all of the Linda Halbert's eyeshadow palettes, and I love Linda Halbert's makeup uh, eyeshadow formula. This is something that's kind of uh, similar to the uh, Tarte palette. And it's a really nice formula, beautiful, beautiful palette. I haven't used it a lot, uh, just because I got it from not so long ago, but also had other palettes and it was actually sick too. Oh, sorry, wrong finger. They are very, very nice. Uh, definitely buildable shimmer. So this is something for someone that's shy, but wants shimmer, but I don't want too much shimmer. You can build it up to have it very shimmery especially if you use it wet but it's a very forgiving formula and very nice very easy to blend the matte so perfect and i just love this palette now this is the made in italy it's a vegan and i really enjoy this palette really nice neutral eyeshadow palette i uh, love linda halberry's eyeshadows and quality love her lipsticks love her liners and i just love that brand okay me and my sister love to talk about the makeup and I gave her a couple of compliments when she had those nice smoky natural makeup looks and every time this is so funny every time she had the same palette she got this palette for me and I was really surprised how much I love this palette this is I love revolution I love uh, tasty palette oh my god if you want beautiful natural but pinkish makeup look this palette it's definitely for you i don't know if you can if you will fall in love if you see it right now in camera in real life this palette is more beautiful but guys these purple they are a little bit chunkier okay they are chunkier but but use it with finger and press it in Pull and press it in and you will get an amazing makeup look definitely one of uh, my also very used palettes from last year and I used it so many times and I have all of the price ranges when it comes to eyeshadows and I feel like um, this brand is a little bit, don't get a lot of intent, uh, attention that it should because they are powdery Okay, they are powder. You will get some fallout and you will have to clean your face when you use it. So use it before you do your face makeup. But you will have a long wear makeup look, a beautiful makeup look. So you get what you pay for. Very nice, uh, very nice on my oily eyelids. They are powdery, a lot of fallout, a little bit chunkier, but I 
managed to create some beautiful makeup look. Very easy makeup looks with this palette. Love it. I just love it. I'm very surprised that I love it that, that much. Another palette that I've used um, a couple of times is the Beauty Bakery Bite Size Palette rainbow that I got from my friend Valerie. This is a beautiful palette, really beautiful palette. Now when I got this I was like mm, how will I make these eyeshadows work together but you will be surprised. They are so beautiful and easy to use. I think I've used this like six seven times and I am kind of sad that I didn't use it more but like I said I have so many makeup uh, palettes that I was reviewing on my channel or creating makeup blue so I was going in with some couple of palettes a lot just to get a lot of use of them and this is definitely something that I will use more this year. I love these colors and it's a beautiful um beautiful palette. Now these shimmer shimmery shades are not not very intense shimmery but very soft and very uh sad and finished looking so if you want something like that I think Beauty Bakery palette is for you. Uh, a palette that I've used a couple of times but definitely going to use more this is the violet from um uh, Vision. I got this from my sister for birthday. This is an old palette, that, not old palette, but a palette that has been out there for a very long time and I've used it a couple of times. Beautiful. I mean, I love Vision. They are very expensive, so you get, you pay a lot for the palettes, but they are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, palettes. Beautiful. The only thing I found with this is if I press too much with my finger, then this will be uh, it will be hard for me to get the eyeshadow, but yeah, I just take a little bit of tape on and remove that first layer. This is a really loved palette and I always wanted it and it was on my wish list and my sister got it for me. And I uh, love it, just love it. Definitely recommend if you don't have a pink, purple eyeshadow palette, that's definitely for you. A palette that I really enjoy, it's this uh, Mandorian palette from Star Wars Colourpop. I mean, this palette is beautiful. I love these colors. This is definitely me. This is me, speaks to me. Purple, these kind of colors, these are me. This is me. And I love this. I definitely recommend it. I will definitely buy this again and again. I love this palette. And um, I just, I don't know what to say about it, but it's cute, they're bl blendable, they're easy to work with, shimmery, is, uh, shimmery colors are very shimmery, very easy, very long wearing, I just love it. I think I have a makeup look with this palette that I put out for a couple of weeks ago, a couple of days ago, I'm not really sure, but I really enjoy this palette. Okay, okay, another palette that I was really surprised that I love that much, that much is Retro Palette from Natasha Denona. I love Natasha Denona eyeshadows and I think this palette is beautiful, beautiful. This one is also the same uh, creamy powdery texture, love that formula, love that formula from Natasha Denona. And um, I've used this palette a lot. This kind of uh, reminds me of Huda Beauty is one that also is having similar shades. It's not the same formula, I enjoy both of them. Uh, I feel like this one is so easy to work with beautiful romantic pinkish makeup looks. Definitely, definitely uh, repurchase if I will. If this will be destroyed, I will definitely purchase it. A palette that I like, but I haven't really used it a lot and um, having a hard time to create makeup looks. It's from Spectral palette from Linda Halbert. Love Linda Halbert's formula, but this palette, this palette is beautiful. But I feel like I need to go in other palettes when I'm using this because it's not something that I can use or get inspired with. I wanted this palette. This is a long, a, this launched, I don't know if it's two or three years ago, but I got it last year and I really, I got this from my sister too. I really like it. I love going in with brown color in my crease and then go like all over my lid with this shade if I want to make matte makeup look. So this is a very nice palette to put in a collection and use it together with other eyeshadow palettes. By itself, I can't see me using all of these to create a one makeup look. Maybe, I don't know, maybe a purple one. Probably one or two makeup looks, but I feel like I need to use it together with the other two to get a full makeup look. <clears throat> but I love Linda Halby's formula. Nothing wrong with it. Palette that I haven't used a lot 
is a revolution makeup revolution i think i got this from valerie i think i think i think it's a really colorful palette i haven't got a lot of use of this palette just because i haven't playing with a lot of color last year and um, i don't know if you follow me um if you have followed me the whole year or year before that i put usually put three videos every week but last week was a really tough year for me mentally so i've been like you know i haven't been as good as before with uh putting a lot of contact out so i haven't played with a lot of makeup as much as i wish i would but probably this year i will have a chance to do so now this is a beautiful palette beautiful beautiful palette I, I think I used it once and I, I created a makeup, beautiful makeup look, it's pigmented, but I feel like I need to use it a little bit more to, you know, speak about a little bit more. Palette that I've used a lot. Oh, I found the elf one. This one I've used many times. Okay. Palette that I've used a lot these couple of weeks. It's naughty for Huda Beauty. And this is very hyped palette for a reason if you want dark brown nude dish deeper palette definitely a buy still don't get these colors i don't know i have oily eyelids this it's not working for me but i don't know i just every time i create something with this palette i get a lot of compliments this is a beautiful beautiful palette this shade here called Passion. It's one of my favorites from this palette. It's a beautiful color Duochrome and every time I wore it uh, I usually actually end up wearing this every time I play with this palette and I got a lot of compliments uh, This one is also a little bit duochrome flower power more golden Beautiful beautiful palette. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Definitely recommend it Okay, so now we have a brand that I discovered last or year before last year, and it's Pat McGrath. Now I don't, I can't find my palette with four eyeshadows from Pat McGrath, but I like that one. Um, Hytopian Dream, that it's beautiful. Now I keep the packaging, but it's very bulky, and it's the reason I don't, I don't grab for it or reach for it as much as I maybe should. This is a beautiful palette. These colors, couple of colors, kind of remind me of who the beauty or Natasha Denona. I can find these colors in other, but these colors I can't find anywhere else. Beautiful, very expensive. You pay a lot for the packaging. Uh, the quality is amazing, but you pay a lot for the packaging. The shipping from the website is so fast. I love uh the i love pat mcgrath's eyeshadows it's one of my favorite also formula love 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 i have also the other one this one i haven't used as much as that first one that i showed you uh this is the mothership divine rose 2 got it for the packaging look beautiful packaging it's stained i did use it but um i love it i love it i love this but the palette that I've used so much from Pat on McGrath are these two. Now I heard a lot of people talking about these palettes that say the formula is not the same, but you know what? Love this palette. I've used it a couple of times and I think uh, a couple of times. No, I've used it many times. And I have a couple of makeup looks on my channel with this palette. Beautiful palette. Beautiful palette. It's just a, like a dream. This is... I think this one also is one of my favorite shades in here. Love this, but this one I love even more. The newer, newer palette. I just love this palette a lot. I created many makeup looks. I've used this so many times and definitely something I'm going to use more. I wish they will put out more of these kind of palettes. I prefer the packaging and I prefer the, pa uh, I, the formula is the same. I prefer the packaging and I, I I prefer the, I don't know, I just prefer the layout. I just love this palette, my favorite palette. Another palette that I've used, uh, the last palette actually, I'm sorry, I forgot about this one. This is the Fruit Exposure that I my sister got for, got for me. And I've used it 
I think three or four times like this. Very cute, very easy to travel and go around with. Okay, guys, I hope my kids don't disturb you too much because they're screaming, playing Fortnite with friends online. They are very loud. I'm so sorry, guys. But that's the collection or the palettes that I've bought last year, that I've used or got last year. Some of them I use more than the others, but now when I look at them, I know that, that I want to use more of some of the eyeshadows. But guys, let me know down below if you tried any of these eyeshadow palettes. What do you think about them? Is there any palette that you regret not buying? Is there another palette that you bought last year that I didn't show today that you really like a lot to know? Is there another launch that you're very really excited about? Let me know down below. I will definitely fill my top 10 palettes from last year, but I want to know your top 10. Let me know down below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. I love you all and thank you for watching. Bye.